Nan Dikano accuses Nigerian government of creating fake Igbo group calling for his extradition. Hello, my wonderful people. Nandi Kanu has accused President Muhammadu Buhari and Nigerian government for creating fake Igbo group. We know that Nandi Kanu created the ESN, the Eastern Security um, Network, which you know uh, is aimed at combing the forest in the south to ensure that um, you know uh, criminal elements are flushed out, especially Fulani headsmen who are becoming some are becoming criminal elements these days. Nandi Kanu is saying that the federal government it is in a mission to create fake Igbo groups so as to bring him out of extradition. Remember that uh, Buhari wants to request that uh, either UK or uh, Israel return on the Kano back to Nigeria. Let's understand all that is going on. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has accused the federal government. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has accused the federal government of creating a fake Igbo group, which wrote a letter to the government urging it to immediately write the government of the United Kingdom and Israel requesting the extradition of Kanu to face the law of alleged treason fostered in Nigeria. Kanu, who spoke on Radio Biafra on Monday, January the 11th, dared the Nigerian government to ask the signatories of the proposed group Coalition of Southeast Professionals Network in Nigeria and Diaspora to hold the press briefing if they actually exist. A tweet by an IPOB member, which was retweeted by Kano, reads, Legal Notice. On 9th January 2021, a group called Coalition of South Eastern Professional Network in Nigeria and Diaspora called for extradition of Mazi Nandi Kanu. Today, I receive a drill diligence report that shows that such group does not exist. It's fake. It's fraud. In an open letter to the government on January the 9th, addressed by President Malam Buhari, the group has explained that its action was predicated on Kanu's carelessness treasoning activity in the country. In the letter signed by the group National President Prof Professor Maduka Nkechuku and National Secretary Mazi Uchombo, it alleges that the IPOB leader is hiding under it alleges that the IPOB leader is hiding under the coordinate relationship between the two countries and Nigeria to, play, to plan and launch attack on Nigeria and cause various levels of destruction. Describing Kanu as a fugitive who escaped the law after being granted bail, following his arrest and detention over treasoning felony, the coalition insists that Israel and UK can turn in the IPOB leader that he was the, nation, he was the nation on most wanted list. In also reacting to the coalition open letter, IPOB through its media and publicity secretary, Emmanuel Powerful, described the letter as ridiculous, disgraceful, insisting that the group is fake and was created by the Nigerian government to co coordinate its scheme. In a press statement released on Monday, January the 11th, titled Call for Kano's Repatriation, an attempt by the criminal corrupt government to appeal relevant powerful government says it was confident that Kano has become a nightmare for the Nigerian government. The statement reads, the use of fake and non-existing group association by agency of Nigerian government is a laughable attempt to blackmail our leader, Mazi Nandi Kano, is confident that the indigenous poor of Biafra, IPOB, the greatest nightmare of the failed government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We find it amusing that a proposed statement was calculated and created 
to another Department of State Service Manufacturing Non-Existent Group called Coalition of South East Professionals Network in Nigeria and Diaspora in an all effort to give the enormous impression that a handful of people is against the IPOB-led efforts to restore Biafra is all a lie. A ghost group also that only exists in the deranged the minds of DSS propaganda unit operative, in which it was reported that said group petitioned the UK and Israel government requesting the repatriation of the leader, Mazi Nandikanu. Mm -hmm. How utterly, utterly ridiculous. Why DSS have chosen to continue to disgrace itself by creating this fake news is beyond human comprehension. Such a weak and translucent group will not, trace, will not translate to indicate such a group existence. Why can't they conduct a live press briefing to convince the people of Biafra that they are real by showing us their faces? The same ineffective strategy has been traced and used a different capacity to create fake IPOB members and leaders, non-existent group using fake Igbo names as signatories. They failed. They will always fail again and again. A correspondent to such a live scream had been changed to the so-called Nigerians professionals in diaspora, a real and identified list. They show that they, they should show their face to all Nigerians and tell us what they're really all about. If the self acclaimed leader of this group and the imaginary professor Chike and uh, Mazi Jumbo are not robust but truly evil sons, they claim let them monitor their communities and kingsmen and prepare their people and save them from this imminent danger of Fulani headsmen infiltrating into the south. It's high time DSS left Nandi Kanu and IPOB alone and think of better ways to justify their salaries. It's too late to stop the Biafra project. The night is fast spent. The day is almost here. We will not relent. We will not give or will not give in. We are ready to take over. They are scared only because of the Eastern security outfit they've seen, the pictures of their training. They are already so scared. So, my people, this is what is happening right now. Uh, Una Dikano has accused Nigerian government of propaganda and, you know, uh, going on to uh, discuss a face, fake group which has written to the UK and uh, Israel saying that uh, they want Una and the Kanu back. That Una and the Kanu is a uh, is the most wanted list in Nigeria. You know, Una and the Kanu find it very, you know, very ridiculous. And has said this Nigerian government are not serious at all. He has referred to Buhari, especially that Buhari is the one who has gone ahead to create this such group who do not exist. Well, my people, Nigerian government, we know that, and they are against Una and the Kanu and looking for ways possible to get him back into the country. Whatever happened will be keeping you inform please don't forget to like or share subscribe click on the notification button god bless you have a fantastic day bye for now bye